Despite the outrage is growing after this report from the New York Post. It claims that the Cuomo administration may have admitted to hiding nursing home data from federal authorities. Now, Republican lawmakers are calling for prosecution, impeachment, and a full investigation of the governor's office. And tonight, some Democrats are also reacting, calling it infuriating, troubling, and a failure when it comes to transparency. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller leads us off tonight with new fallout. It's a leaked phone call involving Governor Andrew Cuomo's top aide and Senate Democrats that has Cuomo at the center of the biggest scandal of his 10-year tenure as governor. Andrew Cuomo must be prosecuted and Andrew Cuomo must be impeached. The scathing phone call first reported by the New York Post includes quotes from Secretary to the Governor Melissa DeRosa, seemingly admitting the state hid nursing home death data from the Trump administration to avoid it being used against the Cuomo administration in a Department of Justice investigation. DeRosa says, and basically we froze because then we were in a position where we weren't sure if what we were going to give the Department of Justice justice or what we give you guys, what we start saying was going to be used against us while we weren't sure if there was going to be an investigation. In a transcript of the call provided by the governor's office this morning after the story broke, DeRosa says the governor's office was concerned about President Donald Trump using the information against them. She says he starts tweeting that we killed everyone in nursing homes. What she's referring to is the more than 9,000 recovering COVID-19 patients who were sent back to their New York nursing homes per a March executive order by Governor Andrew Cuomo. Just last month, New York's Attorney General Letitia James released a detailed report indicating the Cuomo administration had undercounted the number of nursing home deaths by nearly 50 percent. In her statement this morning, DeRosa went on to say, I was explaining that when we received the DOJ inquiry, we needed to temporarily set aside the legislature's request to deal with a federal request first. We informed the houses of this at the time. We were comprehensive and transparent in our responses to the DOJ and then had to immediately focus our resources on the second wave and vaccine rollout. He has destroyed the credibility and the trust of the office of the governor. Now state Republican leaders are calling for the governor's immediate removal. Andrew Cuomo and his team, they went on their daily briefings and they lied to the public. They lied to you in the press. They lied to the state legislature and they likely lied to the Department of Justice. I, I, I really can't believe it. I can't believe he hasn't been charged with a crime. As a taxpayer, who represents us? 7 Eyewitness News has also reached out to every Democratic state lawmaker representing Western New York. We have heard back from each one except State Senator Tim Kennedy. All of them voiced concern about the lack of transparency. Assemblywoman Monica Wallace of Cheektowaga and Assemblyman John Rivera of Buffalo went even further, joining Republicans in calling for the governor to be stripped of his executive powers. This intentional and this willful cover-up is unacceptable completely unacceptable. Republican State Senator Ed Rath says the three-term governor who is up for re-election next year has failed the people of New York. Let's get an investigation. Let's get to the bottom of this. Let's find out exactly what happened and let's get some answers for the residents of the state of New York. So the state had had one at Javits and then we did one at Aqueduct and then and Hannah joins us live tonight. Now, Hannah, I know you reached out to the lieutenant governor today. What did she have to say? Yeah, late this afternoon, we heard from Kathy Hochul's office. We had sent her specific questions earlier in the day regarding this incident, but a spokesperson did not answer that question or those questions directly. Instead, sent a statement saying the lieutenant governor is on Long Island and in New York City today, ensuring we're getting shots in the arms, an underserved population statewide. She remains laser focused, working with state and local leaders on a coordinated rapid response and an inclusive recovery. Keith. All right, we'll see what unfolds in the days to come. Thanks, Hannah. Also tonight, the